up guys, Darcival here. Today, I'm going to be showing you my method of how I throw my eight foot cast net. And this technique is very easy and does not require your mouth. Before I show you how I throw my net, I just want to give you the basics of a cast net and show you and tell you the terms, starting with the hand line. This is the hand line that connects to, this is the hand line that connects to the swivel. You see there's a big swivel right here. This is the braille line. This, this blue piece is called the horn. So this is the horn that comes up to the braille line. The braille line runs all the way down the net, all the way to the end here and connects to the lead line. And this is the lead line. So the braille line is attached on the edge here and then you've got your weights. So this is the setup of the net and now I'm gonna show you how I throw it. Before I get to how to throw the cast net, I just wanna tell you what type of cast net this is and the size of it. And this is a custom Tim Wade cast net. It has 3 8 holes and it's an eight foot net. And in my opinion, the eight foot net is all around general purpose, just a perfect net for the recreational fisherman. Um, you, you know, you can throw this, the method I'm about to show you, you can use it up to a nine foot net, but once you get to 10 foot and above, you have to use a different method to throw the net, like a triple load throw. And um, it's just the perfect all around net. You know, I don't think you need anything much bigger. I catch mullet in it, I catch pilchers in it. Whenever the bait's here, I have no trouble catching fish in this eight foot cast net. All right, now I'm gonna show you how to throw the cast net. So. You go up to your net, wherever it is, it's in a bucket, you know, it's in, it's somewhere on the boat and it's a big old mess. So I'm coming up to my net here and the first thing I want to do is kind of like get the hand line cleared, make sure there's no knots on it. And um, the knots, I don't like to have knots in this hand line at all. You need to have it just pretty nice and pretty looking. So um, I'm just going to basically run my hands through the hand line just to make sure I get all the, the tangles out or whatever might be going on with it seems to be pretty good. Let's see. And then once I do that, um, what I like to do, this is my opinion, but you can do it how you like, but I like to clear the net first. So I'm going to make sure the net is ready to throw right now. And what I mean by that is what you do is you take your horn and you're going to go ahead and stretch the net out and make sure the horn is going to come all the way up to the swivel here. So once I have it like that, I know that the braille line is completely straight and lined up. So that's the way you're going to be throwing the net with the horn right next to the swivel. And then I'm going to come down here, hold it about halfway. And then I'm going to just basically make sure that the lead line hasn't been flipped, the, that the braille line did not flip over the lead line. And basically what I do is kind of just lay out the net like this. And you that I actually that's pretty good there and I just work my way around the whole net making sure that there's no issues with the braille line being flipped over the lead lines and I'll show you an example here all right so like for instance my net's pretty good right now but usually this braille line will get flipped and it'll get wrapped around like that and you can't throw the net with this braille line sticking out every the braille line needs to be inside so you would just flip the lead line back over and make sure the net is good to go. And the net is good to go. Okay, so now that my net, I know it's ready to go, it's clean, it looks perfect for a nice pancake toss. I'm gonna take the lead line, uh, the hand line with the loop here, put it over my wrist. I'm a lefty, by the way, so this might look a little strange to you guys, but I'm gonna do my very best to show you how to throw this cast net without the lefty interfering. So cinch it up to your wrist like so. So if you're right-handed, it's gonna be on your right wrist. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to Take an arm's length like this, stretch out the rope, then I'm going to do a coil. So when I coil it, this is very important, when I coil it, you want the coil running through your thumb right here. You don't want to coil it backwards like this. So basically, I have that coil, I did it, stretched it out, I have that coil go over your thumb and your uh, pointer finger, just like so. You don't want to do it the backwards way. Everything needs to go like this. So I'm going to stretch it again. Make another coil, go over my thumb and my pointer finger. And you're gonna do that all the way down to the horn. So stretch it out again, another coil, stretch it out again, another coil. And just remember, always when you lay the rope, the coil onto your hand, thumb and pointer finger. There we go, there we go. All right, now this is a part where you wanna make sure that your horn is all the way up 
to your swivel. And you want to make sure the net's not twisted. You see how this top right here is twisted? That's a no-no. So you want to make sure the net is nice and straight. Take the twist out. Usually I like to bring it up vertical like this and then make sure the net is all the way up to the swivel. Now you're going to coil again, but now we're out of rope and we're to the net. So to make the next coil, what you're going to do is you're not really going to measure it like you did with your arms, but you're going to take maybe a foot of it and lay it over. Lay it over the same way. It needs to go through your, your thumb and your pointer finger. So now I've got one half of a half coil of rope, a half coil of the net. Then my net is ready to go. I know that I took all the issues out of the lead line and the braille line. So the next part is you're going to make another coil. You want to line it up right next to you like this. And you kind of want to like, you want to measure it about right here at this length, maybe a little higher to your waist here. But usually this is a good area to go ahead and make your next coil. And that way you can pick it up off the ground and then give it a nice toss. So I've measured it like this. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to lay the coil over my hand like that. You've got your hand line on your wrist, which whatever your throwing hand is, and you've got all your coils in your throwing hand. So I'm left-handed, so everything is in, in this left hand. So now that I'm ready to throw, I already measured it out according to my waist. This is the most important part here, in my opinion. When you go to separate the lead line, because we're going to be taking half of the lead line and lifting it up. What you need to do is look at your coils, look at your actual palm, and you see like this middle piece, you want to start pulling lead line from this middle area. If you start pulling lead line from this outside area, you're not going to throw the net, the net correctly at all. It's not going to open. Even if you do it from this side, that's not correct. You need to make sure you pull the net from the middle of your palm like so. So that's perfect. You see that the, that the line is starting to separate here from the middle of my palm. And I kind of just start pulling from both sides, pulling lead, pulling the net out like this. And then once you separated about half of the line into your right hand like this, see that's about half. So now I've got half right here. So the next part of what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the net I'm gonna lay it like this into my hand. So you can see, I take this piece and just lay it forward, cur curl it in toward the outside of you. So this is the hardest part. Um, but you're gonna curl it in like this, grab it with your other fingers so your thumb is underneath the net and these fingers are outside of the net, like that. And you can see that I've got half the lead lines up high and I've got half the lead lines down here. And now you can see that the two lead lines here are running down. You want to pull the line that's closest to you. So this is the outside line. This line is closest to me. I'm going to grab this and you can kind of see when I'm going to make my throw that it's already going to open like this. So I've got this piece of the line and then I'm going to make the throw and it should open no problem. Now I'm ready to throw just a few simple steps and you're ready to throw with no teeth. No messing up your teeth whatsoever. So when I'm going to throw, um, you usually, you know, I have the, I wait for the bait to be, get lined up in the right position, but I kind of swing the net back and forth a couple times just to get into the rhythm of it. And when you go to throw, you really don't need that much force. It's kind of more of like a finesse thing. You just kind of give it a big swing and turn your hips and get that net out there. And um, when you do get to go, go to throw it and let go, you let go of this piece first you kind of try to hold on to this piece a little longer. Not much longer because you don't want the net to like fall right next to you. But um, it, it's going to take a little bit of practice to get it down right. So here we go. Two, Okay, now I'm going to run through this one more time a lot faster and just do it the way that I would in order to catch bait in the morning. So I see a bunch of bait in the morning I'm getting the net ready. Coil it up. Like that. Grab the horn. Make sure it's 
sure my lead is good. Good to go. Another coil. Now I'm going to start separating the line, the lead line. And then when I'm lined up on a school fish, you just gotta throw. Okay, I hope you guys learned something from this video. This is a really great, easy method to learn, and you can use it with any net that's nine foot and below. And once you get to 10 foot and, and bigger nets, you have to use a triple load uh, method and other methods that they have, and that those sometimes require your teeth. So your teeth are completely fine with this method, and it's pretty easy and simple to throw. So I hope you guys learned something from this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for new videos every single day. And just to mention really quick before I forget, I know I'm going to get this comment, does my neck get snagged in my belly ring? No, it doesn't because I keep the net away from my belly. It don't, you know, I showed you guys how I did it. It was totally fine. I just am aware of my belly ring and I make sure it doesn't get snagged. And there's been many times where I've been catching bait, getting all excited with no issues whatsoever. So no, and I'm also wearing all this jewelry, I'm fine, okay? <laughs> like, I've learned how to throw the cast net without any snags. So, but thank you for asking and um, yeah. So be sure to subscribe, like this video if you enjoyed it. I hope you learned a thing or two and you use it, this method to catch your own bait on your own fishing adventures. And until next time, follow your dream and keep on catching.